Forget everything you think you know about ancient technology. What if I told you the Romans built structures that outlasted anything we can create today? This isn't just old rock. It's a lost science that allowed entire cities to stand for millennia. Prepare to have your mind blown by the secrets of Roman concrete. Rome, the empire that reshaped the world. But beyond the emperors and epic battles lies a quieter revolution. Concrete. Imagine walking beneath the Pantheon's dome, the largest unreinforced concrete dome on earth. Built in 126 A.D., still standing, now imagine your local parking garage, crumbling in 40 years. How? How did the Romans create structures that survived earthquakes, floods, and centuries of war? From aqueducts that stretch for miles to seaside ports battered by salt water, their concrete refuses to die. Modern concrete? It's lucky to last a century. This isn't just ancient engineering, it's an immortal legacy. But here's the twist. We forgot how they did it. At first glance, Roman concrete looks simple. Stone, sand, and lime. But hidden in that mix is the secret sauce. Volcanic ash, known as pozzolana. Sourced from regions like Mount Vesuvius, this fine powder reacts with lime and seawater to form something extraordinary, a binder stronger with age. Roman builders weren't just laborers. They were scientists of the earth. They knew their materials. They knew when to mix, how to cure, and even where to build for maximum durability. It wasn't luck. It was mastery. But that's just scratching the surface, because Roman concrete could heal itself. In 2023, scientists uncovered something astounding. Inside ancient Roman concrete, they found white chunks of lime, once thought to be flaws. But they're not. They're part of a process called hot mixing, where lime is added at high temperatures. When cracks form, water seeps in and triggers a reaction. The lime dissolves and recrystallizes, sealing the cracks from within like a wound healing on skin, self-repairing concrete. Modern concrete doesn't do this. It breaks, it fails, it's expensive to fix. But Roman concrete, it heals itself for centuries. So here's the big question. Why aren't we using Roman concrete today? The answer, cost, complexity, and lost knowledge. Modern construction is built for speed, not longevity. Roman concrete cures slowly. The materials are harder to source. And the exact process? Still being pieced together. But there's hope. Scientists are now recreating Roman mixtures, testing them in harsh environments. And the results? promising. Some believe this ancient formula could revolutionize sustainable construction. Imagine cities that last not decades, but millennia. Yet, there's still one mystery we can't solve. Despite all our progress, that something is missing. Something in the Roman mindset. How they observed nature. How they built with the earth, not against it. They weren't just engineers. They were artists, chemists, visionaries. Roman concrete isn't just about durability. It's a reminder that ancient knowledge may hold the key to our future. What else have we forgotten? What other secrets lie buried in the ruins? If this lost art fascinated you, imagine what else history is still hiding. Hit subscribe for more forgotten secrets, ancient marvels, and the stories they left behind. And tell us in the comments, should we bring Roman concrete back? Because some things were built to last.